please join Dot and I in prayer. <sighs> Compassionate creator, the one who brings all of us together. Do you have any other words for how you would like to say hi to God? God, thank you for all the things you gave us. Mm -hmm. And the God who has given us so many things. We gather here this morning on this second Sunday in Lent, in the wilderness, walking through the wilderness along with Jesus in this time. And some of us have maybe gotten into um, some snags maybe with our uh, Lenten disciplines. And we need to be, you know, strengthened and reinforced in that effort. And some of us have maybe reduced some of that static and that noise that gets between you and us. And maybe we're hearing your voice clearly, maybe for the first time in a long time, because our lives are so busy and there's so much going on and it's hard to hear you through all of that we're grateful though for times like lent to reset and recharge and find you again we know you've never left us we just have a hard time staying on task and remembering that you're always with us and a lot of the things that are going on around us don't matter as much as making sure that we are in relationship with you. And we pray today for all of those who are sick. We pray for all of those who are grieving family members who have passed. And we say a prayer of joy for some of the facilities that seem to be seeing a reprieve from the heavy amounts of COVID cases that they've had and are being able to not be as overwhelmed and overloaded and we continue to pray, God, that you help us to be good neighbors, to take care of one another, and to keep each other safe, since we're still not out of this time. We pray for our young ones, for our kids who are doing the very best they can in a world that is different than the world that we all grew up in that's for sure we pray for them and for their little minds as they are learning and growing we pray for their teachers and all of the extra work that they've had to do this whole time to keep our kids connected and engaged and to keep to and to help all the parents as we've been trying to figure this out too. We pray for all of the people who haven't been able to hug their loved ones in so long. We pray for those who are feeling alone. We have the prayer of joy that we're able to open the thrift store again. We're able to keep on doing your work here in this community. We pray especially by name for your healing presence in the lives of Dolores, Norm, Becky, Denise, Ben, Larry, Suzanne, Jamie, Victoria, and Paul. We'll take a moment now for personal prayer and reflection. Come and fill our hearts with your peace, O oh God.
We pray for all of these things using the prayer taught to us by your Son, Jesus Christ, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.